It's breakfast time, and at Omar Abdullah's house, a plate of cheese and another of fava bean are laid down. And like the majority of Egyptians, they eat that with bread. All four members of Abdullah's family are enrolled in the government subsidies program. We get five loaves per person, so that's 20 loaves a day. This is not enough. The government has repeatedly tried to increase bread prices over the past years, but they always took a step back. They implemented it this time, which is difficult for us. Since 1988, Egypt's loaf of subsidized bread has been offered at five piastres, which is about one U.S. dollar for 1,000 loaves of bread. This week, the government increased it to 20 piastres, while still subsidizing more than 80% of the bread's cost. I am retired. My pension does not cover my expenses. Even with the increase in pension the government provided, there is still a big gap I need to cover to make up for these recent price hikes. The citizen's share is still fixed at five loaves a day, and the loaves weight has not changed. As for the bread we produce for the free market, its price has not changed. It's still at 1.5 pounds for an 80 grams loaf. More than 70 million Egyptians benefit from the government subsidies program. With a cost of bread service at about 2.5 billion US dollars annually, the partial price hike saves the government just about 300 million US dollars. Bread subsidies are a huge cost on the government. A part of that will now get reallocated to fund health, education and power services. For 30 years, the bread price remained the same. If we look at global inflation rates during the past 10 years alone, we'll realize that the bread price increase is long overdue. While the price of a loaf remained the same throughout the past decades, the government has repeatedly shrunk its size. It went from 150 grams to just 90 grams in 2020. Instead of using the term khubz, which is Arabic for bread, Egyptians say aish, which translates to life. That is simply because the essential wheat product is embedded in all of their daily meals. The United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization says that in average, an Egyptian can consume up to 180 kilograms of wheat every year.